Hi, my name is Camila and I welcome you to our mindful deep core workout. On this upcoming practice, we are going to focus on strengthening our core and our abdominals in a calming and energizing way. So before we get started, we need to relax any tension, any stiffness around our neck. So we're going to bring our nose down onto your chest and then start creating circles with your nose from one side to the other. Let's do two to one side, big ones, then two to the other side, leading with your nose all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to the floor. Then stay facing down, bring it all the way towards the back, all the way towards the chest. Two more all the way to the back, all the way down to your chest. Bring back to an upright position and we're going to start laying down on the floor. Feel the mat. Your hips are pushing down towards the floor. We're not arching with our spine completely flat down. You're going to bring your hip heels close towards your hips. Make sure that you can reach them with your toes, with your hands. Nice. Pressing that belly in. We're gonna start engaging our core. We're going to lift your hips up as you press your heels down to a natural small bridge. Don't hyper arch. Just lift your hips, hold it, and bring it down. Three, two, one. Roll your spine down on the floor. We go back again. Lift your hips, push your heels down. Three, two, one, bring it down, three, two, one, roll your spine, we go again, relax your core muscles, engage again as you push your heels down, lift your hips up, comes from a movement from the shoulders, go down, three, two, one, roll your core, we have three more to come, let's go lift your hips up, heels pushing down, Gonna start feeling those deep core muscles just waking up, slowly bring it down. <sighs> Relax. And again, we go two more. Lift it up. Engage that core, looking up to the ceiling. And three, two, one. Roll your spine, the last one up. Push your heels, squeeze up onto that baby bridge and slowly roll your spine down up relax trying to bring those knees up and just small circles with that lower back lower spine and your hips You're going to place your feet back down now you're gonna engage both of your hands, bring them towards the back of your neck to support your head. Push those elbows towards the back. You're going to try to lift your shoulders, your neck and your head without crunching. So culturally, we're used to crunching, bringing your neck in. We're going to try to keep it straight as you lift it on a straight diagonal line up, gazing towards the ceiling. Hold it for two seconds, two, one, slowly roll down straight up and bring it down keep pushing those elbows out and open two one bring it down again we have four more good three more hold it two more one more So now as it starts to fire up, to feel it, you're going to lift your knees up, right on top of your hips. If you are up for a stronger challenge, you can bring your knees a little bit farther away from your hips. If you need a little bit more support, you bring them a little bit closer to your chest. If not, just leave them right on top of your hips. And you're gonna hold four, three, two, one, release. Three, two, 
One, bring it up, in four, in three, in two, in one, roll it down. Again, making sure that we're not crunching from your neck, but you're lifting those shoulders, that neck straight up, gazing towards the ceiling, and roll down. We start to feel that burn. Let's go a few more times. Rise it up, hold it for three, two, one, roll down. Big, big breaths, four more to go. Lift it up, four. Roll down. Make sure that you're pushing your entire spine down towards the mat, down towards the floor. Hold it up, lift those shoulders off the ground. Two, one, roll your spine down nice and controlled and we pick it up again we have two more to go four three two one roll it down again be mindful of your neck not crunching but lifting straight up nose towards the ceiling three two one roll it down Good job you're gonna bring your heels down towards the floor rest up that belly one moment maybe we need to swing slightly wipers knees to one side and the other stretch up those core muscles a few rounds to each side bring them back towards the center make sure that your hands are still intertwined lifting your knees back up on top of your hips you're going to extend one leg diagonal down as you twist one of your elbow to the opposite knee hold it bring it back towards the center try to keep your shoulders your neck lifted keep it lifted at the top twist towards one side bring the other leg down back onto the center to one side back to the center check your neck it's not crunch just lifted nose looking towards the ceiling with each rep we try to go a little bit lower with the leg that's extended and we're keeping both of our elbows pointing out just a little bit longer Four more. Quick check up every time that you're on the center. Check your knees, check your neck. Lifting those shoulders from the floor. We are almost there. Two more to go. Back onto the center, lifting those shoulders. Elbows opened. And the last one on each side. Back towards the center, roll your shoulders back down. You're going to bring your knees in towards your chest. Little squeeze. Bring them back down. Palms pressing down towards the mat. Lift those hips again. Try to stretch a bit. It was very nice. You feel all that warmth in that belly, in that core. And roll your spine down. We go two times more, pressing those hands down. Baby bridge, lifting those hips, pushing those heels down. Roll your spine back down. And one more. Bring it all the way up. exhale roll your spine back down now you're going to lift your palms up towards the ceiling again lifting those shoulders up neck straight knees up stretch those legs roll all the way up all and up towards the ceiling roll down avoid that slingshot bring those knees up roll your shoulders one more time shoulders up knees up stretch those legs roll your spine back up hands up next to your ears roll back down slowly control your movement knees up 
shoulders down. My palms are still facing up. We go again, lift your neck, shoulders straight up, extend those legs, lift it up. We keep repeating this movement, slowly bring it down. Bring those knees in so there's no arch on our back. Again, lift neck, shoulders, extend those legs, roll your spine back up, all the way up. Keep repeating this process, roll your spine. We lift, extend, roll up, all the way up. Nice and controlled, we're picking up the pace a little bit more. Lift, extend, roll, full control. We're not going on explosive movements. Lift, extend, all the way up. Very slowly down, take your time, rolling your spine down, vertebra, vertebra. Lift your shoulders, neck facing up, extend those legs, we go. All the way, roll down, lift. I'm gonna do four more, lift, extend, roll. Bring it all the way up, bring it down. Roll it down, three more. Extend, roll up, all the way up. Roll toe, roll your spine down. Bring those knees up. Nose pointing upward, extend those legs, roll up. Hands next to your ears, grow tall, slowly roll your spine back down. Two more to go. Lift up, extend, roll up. Open up that spine, that chest, slowly roll down. Bring your knees. And the last one, lift up, extend, all the way up. And slowly bring it down. I'm gonna bring your knees down towards your chest. Mm. Back your heels down onto the mat, side to side. Relax that spine. And stretch that core a bit. Now you're going to bring both of your feet together. Try to grab your toes. Just press it in. Small circles. Yes. Side to side. And slowly roll yourself back up. Open up that chest. And we are going to move on to a tabletop position. My hands are going to be right under my shoulders. I'm going to start onto a downward dog. My knees are under my hips. I'm going to bring those heels down onto the mat. Pedal for a moment. Just open up all that posterior train. Open up that back, hamstrings, calves. A few more pedals here and there. You're going to bring both of your feet in between your hands and a forward fold trying to keep your legs as straight as possible relax your neck trying to relax your head your neck your shoulders create some more space on that body relax your neck your shoulders try to keep your legs as straight as possible lose all the tension that your entire Body weight fall, no bouncing, no pressure. Just let it hang for a moment. Slightly bend your knees, curl your spine back up. My hands are together. Lift them up towards the ceiling. Arch your back, hips forward. Shoulder blades to the back. And exhale all the way down. Hands next to your feet. Step towards the back, up to a high plank position, down towards a downward dog, trying to press those fingertips down, those heels down. You're gonna bring your left foot up to the back, bend, bring it in towards your elbow. Once more, back, fold, bring it in, knee towards your elbow. Again, all the way back, 
bent roll knee towards your elbow we go extend bend curl knee towards your elbow keep going on the sequence bend bring your knee in towards your elbow making sure that your hands always land under your shoulders hold it for a second lift your hips lift your leg bend it roll it back in knee towards your elbow four more bend roll in knee towards your elbow three more roll in two more roll in one more bend in back to your high plank downward dog take a moment here back onto a high plank I'm gonna bring your right foot in between both of your hands lunge position back left heel down on towards the floor pushing those heels down raise your body up warrior two open up both of your hands extend that front leg left arm goes down alongside your leg reverse triangle slide that left arm alongside the back leg right arm follows the line of your body stretch that core we go back keep both of your legs straight front triangle same movement towards the front hold it for a moment if you can lift all if you can go all the way down towards the floor lift your body back up try to maintain that balance and we go again with that reverse triangle slide up palm alongside your back leg Feel that core stretching open. Back on to that front triangle. Lift that left arm up towards the ceiling, the right one next to your foot or on top of your shins. We go back towards the center, back towards the lunge position row down with your left arm both hands down towards the floor back to a high plank and we start again with that downward dog we go back to the plank position hold it for a moment downward dog yes now lifting the leg foot bring it towards the back roll your knee in towards your elbow again lift it up bend it towards the back roll it in knee towards your elbow and we go again lift your hip bend roll into the knee we go back lift bend roll into that high plank position making sure your hips land at the end right behind your shoulders rolling tucking in a few more on the side bend roll elbow tuck in again three more bend roll tuck in two more lift your hips bend roll your knee knee up to your elbow and the last one all the way up lift roll in bring it back towards a high plank downward dog roll your spine bring your left foot in between both of your hands lunge position bring that back heel down towards floor maintain your balance to a warrior two extend both of your legs go onto a reverse triangle slide your right arm alongside your leg bring your left arm alongside your entire body follow that same line stretch your core bring it back and place that left arm right in front 
of your foot. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Straight legs. If you want, if you can, bring that arm slightly a little bit more away from your body to feel that stretch of that core. And we go back, lift up, back towards your warrior to a reverse triangle. Slide it back, feel that stretch. And back towards the front. Left arm down, look at where your hand is facing. And we look up towards the ceiling. If you can reach farther away from your body, do it, take a moment. If not, stay right here. And we lift back up, bend back to your lunge position, both of your hands next to your feet, back towards your plank position. Again, down or dog. Plank position, we go to a baby cobra. Extend that core tight. Look up at the ceiling. And we go back, toes up, curl your spine, downward dog. We go back towards a high plank, down towards some mindful mountain climbers. You're going to bring your knee in towards your elbow, hold it, bring it back down the other side. Knee towards your elbow, bring it down. Bring it. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Two more. One more. Down to a baby cobra. Rest up. Take a moment, a second here. Toes up, curl your spine back to that downward dog. One more set. Pedal if you need to. A little extra time here. Back on towards your high plank. One more round. Pressing those fingers down, not only your palms, knees into your elbows calmly and down and down slowly bringing them in and little by little we're gonna be picking up the pace trying to bring them a little bit faster in a little bit faster in a little bit faster in breathe in through your nose out through your mouth Keeping those hips right behind your shoulders. Four to go. Two to go. And the last one, little baby cobra. Extend up. Back towards your downward dog. Preparing for the last and final set of our mindful mountain climbers. I'm going to try to go a bit faster. Just take a few big breaths in and out. Inhale through your nose, out through your mouth. Move your hips a little bit. If the core needs a little bit more of openness, of stretchness. And we go this last time, trying to bring your knees a little bit faster, close to your elbows. And if you want, and you can go for a little bit more of impact, you bring them with small jumps, small hops, eight more, four more. Back in, baby cobra. Stay here for a moment. Try to look towards one side. 
to your opposite ankle towards the other side. Back towards the center. Try to place your core in between both of your knees, child pose. Resting your forehead down onto the mat. Being mindful of your breathing. Big inhale through your nose, out towards your mouth. Coming back to a tabletop position, finishing up with some cat-cow movements, bringing your hips up, belly down, and curling opposite position, curling up your spine, arching it up to more curl your spine. to a tabletop position and we go back to our cross-legged upright sitting position thank you so much for joining me in today's practice i hope you feel energized and that your core is burning i'll see you next time